A Goldman Sachs executive has been named the first chief operating officer of the Federal Security and Exchange Commission's Enforcement Division. The agency says that Adam Storch, vice president in Goldman Sachs Business Intelligence Group, is assuming the new position of the managing executive. Storch will supervise the Office of Market Intelligence, which involves the monitoring, collection, and analysis of the hundreds of thousands of tips and complaints the agency receives annually. In recent decades, the Goldman Sachs investment firm has seen some of its top executives permeate the upper echelons of U.S. government in both Democrat and Republican administrations. Last year, a Goldman Sachs vice president, Neil Kashkari, was named by former Goldman CEO and then Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson to oversee the $700 billion TARP bank bailout. This year, current Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner hired former Goldman Sachs lobbyist Mark Patterson to be his top aide and chief of staff. In March, President Obama nominated Goldman Sachs executive Gary Gensler to head the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, which regulates futures markets. The revolving door between Goldman and the White House recently prompted former Assistant Secretary of Treasury Paul Craig Roberts to comment, quote, Does the U.S. Secretary of the Treasury work for the people, or does he work for the banking system on Wall Street? He works for Goldman Sachs. Goldman was the number one source of funding for Obama's presidential campaign. The government's bailout of AIG, which resulted in Goldman receiving billions of taxpayer dollars, was engineered at a meeting between Paulson, Geithner, and Goldman CEO Lloyd Blankfein. After receiving its TARP bailout late last year, Goldman Sachs paid hundreds of millions of dollars in bonuses to its employees. This included 212 employees, each receiving $3 million in bonuses, 391 receiving $2 million bonuses, and 953 receiving $1 million in bonuses. Storch, the new Securities and Exchange Commission business intelligence overseer, is 29 years old and has worked at Goldman Sachs for the last five years. His accomplishments include being named a co-winner by SUNY Buffalo of their prestigious Intern of the Year Award in 2002.